Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Manny in case you are new here and I'm a fourth year psychology and commerce student at UBC. And I have not done a Let's Chat video for the longest time on my YouTube channel because I actually started a podcast, so I'm gonna plug that a little bit first. If you wanna go and check it out, I'm gonna link it up above. But I started a podcast, so if you enjoy these Let's Chat videos on my channel, you can definitely go and check them out. But I hope to do more of these because I kind of forgot that people who don't listen to my podcast and only watch my YouTube channel will have no idea what has been going on in my life. But let's start my makeup first. I'm gonna do my makeup and today we're gonna chat about me graduating university, what my plans are after university, and everything like that. Starting with the Supergoop sunscreen lotion, just as a little base and obviously SPF. It is raining today, but that doesn't mean you can't wear SPF. Okay, usually I always start with my eyebrows first, so I'm gonna grab the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer as well as my Benefit Brow Gel. I need a mirror though, because I can't look at the viewfinder. All right, so I guess let's talk. It's been a while, and um, I just want to fill you in on my life in case you don't listen to my podcast or in case you haven't watched my videos in a while. I am graduating university this semester, like I said, and I am very excited, to be honest. So I'm gonna tell you about the different paths that I considered after university, what I wanted to do, and what I'm ultimately gonna be doing after graduation. My brows need concentration though, so I'm just gonna do those first. So for the longest time after graduation, I knew that I wanted to take a year off of school after I graduated. My original plan for the longest time, honestly, was that I would take a year off after I graduated to take the GRE and study for that. The GRE is basically the grad school entrance exam, in case you do not know. So for a lot of uh, American grad schools and universities, you have to take the GRE to apply. It's kind of like the SAT when you're applying for your undergrad, but obviously this is for masters and stuff. So my original plan was that I was gonna take a year off to take the GRE because there was one program that I was really, really set on and I was gonna move out, you know, make some YouTube videos and just study for the GRE as well during that year. Where did I put my brow gel? It's under my makeup cart, oh my gosh. But as I was thinking about like why I wanted to go to grad school and what I would ultimately do with my grad school experience, I kind of realized that like, I think I'm just going to grad school just to do it. And also just to kind of prolong me having to enter the real adult workforce. And so I was like, well, I'm not gonna waste a bunch of time and money then to go to grad school if it's not something that I'm very set on and I know it's needed for my next job or whatever. Next, I'm taking the Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm just gonna put that all over my eyelids before my eyeshadow. So when I decided, when I like thought about that and I like realized that I wasn't really going to grad school for, for what it's really intended for, I was like, hmm, maybe I should take a year off and think about not going to grad school, obviously, and just doing something else. Also, I didn't apply to any grad schools this year because obviously I'm trying to take a year off and then apply the next year, but I did end up applying for one research fellowship program in the States, and I was like, if I get in, this is my sign to continue going to grad school and continue going through academia, but if not, then I'll take it as a sign that I should reconsider. And I didn't get in, obviously. I don't think I'm the most qualified person to do research, and I haven't really had any relevant experience yet, so I really have to think about what I want to achieve from that and obviously I didn't get in so have to recalculate and think about what else I want to do. And when I didn't get in, I was so lost in life. That was around February of this year and I was like so confused about what I want to do in terms of career, career wise and post graduation and everything like that. Okay, next I am taking this Tarte palette. I'm going to take a small floofy brush, here it is. I'm gonna take the uh, lighter brown right here and put that in the middle part of my crease. Just to add some definition since I don't really have eyelid creases. And same on the other side, obviously. 
So in February, I was very lost. I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life. I knew that I didn't want to go back to school right after I graduated university. I knew that I, I don't know, didn't really, I didn't really know what I knew. I also knew though for sure that I love making YouTube videos and I love working on my podcast. I love content. It's always been something that I've enjoyed thoroughly. Next, I'm taking this denser brush and the Jet Setter shade and putting that on the outer third of my crease and down, kind of like drawing a V here. I don't know if this is legit. I'm not a makeup artist, but this is what I do. So those were the two things that I was working off of. I knew I love making content and I knew I didn't want to go back to school right away because I've been in school for the last 16 years of my life and I really feel like I need to take a break. I'm feeling really burned out by school in general and just this environment. I also think it's like such a great age to explore the world. I'm 21, turning 22 this week, and it's such a great time to explore the world. I'm not really committed to anything yet. You know, I don't need to think about settling down or anything like that. So. I'm very, very free in terms of what I want to do. Sometimes if I'm feeling spicy, I'll add this shimmery shade, Funny Girl, onto the inner part of my lid. And since I'm doing a makeup video, obviously I will. So there was one week in February when I was having breakfast with some of my friends and we were talking about what we want to do after graduation. We were all very lost at that point in time and we didn't really know what we wanted to do or anything like that. And then I was reminded of the fact that between first and second year, that was also a time I was very, very lost with my degree. I didn't really know what I wanted to do and I thought I wanted to drop out of school. And uh, during that summer, I actually thought about going and teaching English abroad. And I thought that would be a great opportunity because you know, you get to make money, you get to travel, and I love working with kids. So it seemed like a really good opportunity at the time. I didn't end up doing it just because I was very wishy-washy at the time and I didn't have a lot of confidence in myself. So I ended up falling through with that. But that came back to me when I was having breakfast with my friends and I was like, huh, like, there's really nothing stopping me from doing that right now. Also because a lot of these TEFL positions teach English as a foreign language. Uh, they require a BA, a BSc, a bachelor's degree of some sort. And I was like, well, I'm about to graduate and this bachelor's degree is gonna fall into my lap pretty much in a few weeks. Like there's really no reason why I can't teach English abroad. Next, I'm taking this small little brush. I'm gonna take the white shade in the palette, Charmer, and put that on the inner corners as well as my eyebrow bone. So when I realized that, I was like having such a big revelation. I talked to my boyfriend about it, talked to my friends about it, and I was doing some serious reflection about the serious idea of moving abroad and teaching English. When I was talking to my boyfriend about it, he actually mentioned the fact that like, he asked me like, why are you going to work right away? Like, what's your pressing issue with having to work right away? And I thought about that and I was like, huh, you're right. Like. Over the last four years at university, I've saved up a lot, I've worked a ton, and I have savings to my name that I could use. It's not like I'm gonna be buying a house anytime soon, especially not in this Vancouver economy, and I'm not gonna be, you know, buying a car or whatever. I don't have any big purchases coming up in my life. And I was like, well, then I guess I could just travel first and then if I want to keep traveling but I don't have enough money I could work and then as I thought about it I was like wait this literally is totally feasible and I can definitely do this on my own I think as I've grown in university I've become a lot more of a confident person and also a very um what's the word like sure person of myself like if I want to do something I will do it and I think that just comes with age uh also through a lot of heartbreak I've just become a lot more independent and confident and like assured in myself and my own capabilities so I was like if I want to travel then I will and that's what I'm going to be doing after I graduate next I'm taking the Stila eyeliner this is in dark brown and I'm going to draw an eyeliner wing obviously this takes a little bit of concentration though, so I might not be able to talk. <laughs> so then I decided um, I'm gonna be traveling after I graduate. Okay, let's. So I usually start from the outer corner of my eye and aim towards the end of my eyebrow. I try not to make it too long. And I just draw the line first so that I can fix it in case anything goes wrong. I also draw the line on the other side as well at the same time. Okay, my hand is shaking too much, I can't. Okay, it's not perfect, but it's good enough. Using those lines, I'm gonna draw my eyeliner triangle. What's great about this eyeliner is there's actually two sides, so I like to use this micro tip to draw the eyeliner portion. 
Okay, it's definitely not symmetrical, but that's okay. Eyeliner, our sisters, not twins, and uh, it's fine. I've also learned that not lining my eyes all the way to my inner corner actually really helps me a lot. I always thought that's how you have to do eyeliner, but nowadays I only line up to like the middle part of my eye and it keeps my eyes looking bigger because my eyes aren't naturally that big and have that like very flat shape. But done with that. So I'm gonna tell you about my traveling abroad solo travel plans because I'm very excited about them and I've been working on them for the last two months or so. So I'm just gonna tell you about my kind of calendar for the rest of the year because it probably just makes most sense to me. So right now it is the end of March. It's literally about to be April in a few days and I have to finish school until the end of April. I have my last final exam for my undergrad degree on April 26th and then after that I'm maybe gonna be done with school forever if I choose not to do a master's degree. After in April when I finish, I still have to stay in Vancouver for May and June for uh, teaching dance. Um, I do that as one of my part-time jobs and we're finishing up the school year, our dance school year at the end of June and I still have to stay for the weekends for that. But on the weekdays, I'm not really doing much other than working my other part-time job, which is teaching math. I'm also gonna be spending a lot more time focusing on making content, hanging out with friends just to see them before we all kind of part our own ways after graduation, and uh, also just spending time by myself because why not? So in April, that's finishing up school. In May, what I have planned right now is I'm going on a short trip to Vancouver Island with one of my friends. And then otherwise, it's pretty free. I think I'm gonna spend a lot of time with friends who are coming back to Vancouver and aren't gonna be back for a while because they're starting their full-time jobs after graduation and stuff like that. Same with in June, except in June, I have a tentative trip planned to Ontario for some of my friends' graduations. So the UBC graduation ceremony is May, end of May, like May 27th to 29th or something like that. We don't have our exact dates yet, so it's still up in the air right now, but it's sometime that week slash weekend. Then in June, that's when most of the Ontario schools are doing their graduation ceremony. So I hope to be able to fly out to Ontario for one and a half to two weeks even maybe, just to hang out with friends, hang out in Toronto, and just like chill and live life. I've realized that I've actually never been to Toronto for a travel trip in my teenager years. I've never really gotten to explore Toronto or had fun there, so I'm really excited to do that. In July, I'm gonna be taking my first solo trip abroad. Um, this is kind of like my, I'm seeing it as my trial run trip because my other plan is to do a bigger solo trip somewhere farther away, but I wanna have a little bit of experience under my belt first before I take on these like bigger trips. So in July for two weeks, I am going to Austin, Texas by myself, and I am so super excited about that. I've been booking here and there, flights are booked, accommodations are booked, and I'm looking at activities to do, and I am so super excited about that and just like the independence that it's gonna come along with it. I'm gonna be back in Vancouver in August for the entire month and just hang out with friends again, just spend time with family before I leave for my long trip in September. So my goal is in September, I wanna fly out to Japan and spend three months there until the end of the year. So that is very, very exciting. I hope to come back before Christmas so that I can spend Christmas here with my family, but yeah, that's my goal or what I've planned out for the rest of the year as of right now. It's crazy, I know. Okay, I got too carried away talking, so we are going to do my mascara. First, I'm gonna curl my lashes, obviously. I feel like COVID has taught a lot of my friends and people who are in university that like, Working that corporate job right after you graduate university is not always the norm and not always the most desired thing anymore. Next, I take the Benefit Tinted Primer, the Their Real Tinted Primer, and use that on my lashes. So I feel like a lot of my friends who are graduating are also like very stuck and thinking about what they want to do because now like work and work environments now look so different due to COVID. Okay, same to the left side. I love this primer because it makes my lashes look so much longer, if you can tell. So, left side. 
And I think also it's a great sign that like if you feel stuck or feel unmotivated in your current environment and you feel forced to do certain things like you feel forced to go to university or you feel forced to get a full-time corporate job that's not always the case i know that everyone has different circumstances and situations but most of the time a lot of our the things that we do are choices and it's just simply about making different choices for yourself after that dries, I'm also gonna put on a few coats of the Their Real Magnetic Mascara. This is all right. I don't like absolutely love it or anything, but this is just the one that I have on hand. So yeah. But uh, yeah, as I'm traveling, I'm definitely gonna be vlogging and making a ton of videos. That's definitely one of my goals for the end of this year, like till the end of this year, is to just vlog a ton, make a ton of videos and just have fun. Then if I really can make a full-time career out of YouTube, then I will obviously try to do that. But if not, then I can come back when I come back for next year, reevaluate, think about what I want to achieve in life and all this kind of stuff. I've learned not to make too far in advance plans. When I was in first year, or second year, I had like five to 10 years plans all laid out and obviously COVID ruined all of them. So I've learned to kind of Take life as it comes. It's good to have a plan, but don't hold yourself to it like, like you have to. Everything like life is just about adjusting and adapting and learning to go with the flow. That's definitely something I've learned in the last few years. I was, I am still a really bad person with going with the flow. I love to have everything planned out, but I've also learned that that is when a lot of the excitement happens, is when your plans get ruined. That's all my makeup. Um, I usually don't do any bottom makeup just because I wear my mask still and obviously it'll get smudged and smeared anyway so I don't really like to do that. That's all the makeup that I do. I've been doing this makeup like every single day for the last, honestly since the beginning of this year which is totally different for me. I used to not wear makeup at all but it's just been really fun to do makeup and makes me look so cute and I feel so cute during the day so yeah. Anyways, that's kind of my plan for after graduation. Obviously things might change and I haven't set all my plans in stone yet, but it's gonna be such a great time and I'm very excited for it. I'm also just very excited to learn more about myself and have this time to kind of discover who I really am outside of school because that's all I've known for the last 22 years. So yeah. Anyways, if you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm gonna be posting two times a week in April. And I also have a podcast in case you wanna check it out. All my links are down in the description box. Let me know how you've been. Um, if you're graduating, what you're gonna be up to. If you're not graduating, what you're gonna be up to. Honestly, anything like that. I'm very excited to read. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. I was like, Yo.